there was a gentleman who uh, was an eyewitness. Helen, is he here? Mr. Nunley, would you come in, please? Uh, when I first looked over the balcony to where the chaos was taking place, this gentleman and his wife and two children were on the grass. Now, once again, if you join us originally when we cut into the program about a quarter to one o'clock, um, you heard his statement. Mr. Nunley, would you tell us once again exactly what... Mr. Newman, I'm sorry. Look right there. Mr. Uh, Newman, will you tell us exactly what you know? Well, my wife and uh, my two sons were standing at the curb looking at the president approaching us. And we heard a blast, and the president looked like that he right jumped up in his seat. And by that time, he was directly in front of us. And then he, we seen him uh, get shot in the side of the head. And he fell back in the seat, and mm -hmm. Governor Connolly was holding his stomach. And the shots and were almost simultaneously, weren't they? Yes, sir. They were probably... Do you know apart. who fired the third shot? I didn't hear. A I, I don't recall a third shot. There may have been. I, at, uh, we hit, my family hit the ground, and I don't recall a third shot. Uh, I just couldn't, I'm not certain of that. I do know I heard two shots. Yeah, I heard three. I know you there heard were three. three. Well, yeah, I said to Jerry after the second shot, I said, my God, those are gunshots, and I, uh, sure enough, they were, unfortunately. Let me bring you up to date now. Uh, yeah, I understand that we're having trouble in here with a pickup, so we'll move back to the studio. Is that correct? Just a minute. Ed, what is it you said? This is Ed Pfeiffer, our station manager. Excuse me just a minute. You want to go have a cup of coffee, and we'll be right back.